each human sheds millions of skin cells each day. And those skin cells are good nutrition for dust mites, which have to grow in a certain amount of humidity. And that's what accumulates. And that is what caused people to have allergies, sneezing, nasal congestion, recurrent sinus issues. And considering that approximately one out of every three people in the United States will test positive to what we call an aeroallergen, not that everybody's going to have allergy, maybe a half of those are going to have significant allergy. It's a real problem. It's going to be up to 15 to 20 to 25 percent of the population that are allergic and may be allergic to dust mite. Go to a bathroom or a kitchen store and buy a uh, plastic cover, an impermeable cover. Cover your uh, pillow. There's other ways to, to help. Keep the humidity level less than 50 percent in your house. Remove unnecessary areas where, pe where dust mite can accumulate, such as carpeting.